Welcome to the Vibrant Health Podcast with your hosts, Lydia Shatney and Jessica Espinoza. Lydia is a nutritional therapist and founder of Divine Health from the Inside Out. Jessica is a real food wellness educator and founder of the website, deliciousobsessions.com. Since this is a health-related podcast, it should be noted that the hosts are not licensed medical professionals. The information and advice provided in this podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prescribe for any illness or health issue and should not be construed as medical advice. And now, here are the hosts of Vibrant Health Podcast, Lydia Shatney and Jessica Espinoza. Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode number 22 of the Vibrant Health Podcast. I am Jessica from deliciousobsessions.com and jessicaespinoza.com, and I'm here with my co-host, Lydia of Divine Health from the insideout.com. We hope everyone has had a great holiday season and that your year is already off to a great start. And today we actually want to talk about an awesome program that Lydia just launched that's perfect timing for the new year. I am excited about it and I know you guys will be too. So, hey, Lydia, how are you doing today? And let's start talking about your program. Hey, everyone. I'm doing well and the holidays have been amazing and I am super stoked to be starting a new year. And I am hoping to inspire people uh, to begin this year with Vibrant Health. And so I have this program that was created. uh, It's actually been a year in the making because I realized there were, you know, many steps that people need to be taking to kind of maintain and keep their health in a good place. And I noticed most people weren't able to kind of keep all these steps in place. So. That's where this course was born to give people a really good foundation and starting point to kind of launch forward in a way and keep their health, you know, moving forward and also to some degree just maintaining health, which sometimes is pretty important in all we can do at times, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think it's really important because you've kind of, there's all these things that especially people that are new maybe to they've been diagnosed with some sort of chronic illness or they just are not feeling as well as they should. There's all these things that you should be doing. You've got to sleep well and you've got to eat well and you have to exercise correctly and you have to do this and you have to do all these other things. And I think that it becomes super overwhelming for people. It's hard to get started because you actually have to change habits and behaviors and implement new routines into your life, which can be tricky, you know, just for everybody. So, And then you couple that with kind of the new factor and maybe they're, you know, brand new to eating real food or they've Mm -hmm. had, you know, a decade of not sleeping well or whatever. And it really, it can be really kind of stressful, which is, you know, ironic. You're stressed. You've got to reduce stress in order to (laughs) create good health. But it can be really stressful to try to implement all of these changes into your life. So I think your course is great because it kind of packages it all up into a very, usable form and very manageable form for people. So let's talk about, you know, why everybody needs a basic blueprint to get started and kind of what you've seen in your practice as you've been working with lots of clients and kind of how this course was born. Well, the first thing I think that people need help with are overcoming objections they have or overcoming things that are stopping them from enjoying the benefits of the actions that will give them vibrant health. So. That's a big thing that I want to address and also give the the practicals, right? So, you know, it's more than just, here, do these things. It's like, I know we all resist change for, for various reasons. We have these hurdles that we can't overcome for some reason, like, oh, I know I'm supposed to drink water. Oh, but whoops, the whole day went by and I didn't drink my stupid water. Or, you know, I should have had breakfast. I know I'm supposed to eat breakfast, but, oh, for some reason, I just don't feel it. Or, you know, we have these excuses. We have these reasons. And we don't overcome them and we don't make this step forward to put the change in place. And so that's part of what I want to address for people. You know, if you can make a decision that, yes, you want to make the change, it has to follow with action. But if you don't believe, you know, it's important or you're holding yourself back in some way. So A lot of people will think that they need to have more energy first to muster a plan to implement, and they're overwhelmed to begin with, and they can't figure out what to do. And that's part of why I created this blueprint for people, so they can just follow a blueprint. 
Some people think that they need more time to get ready before they can take forward action in their health. You know, like for some reason they have to conquer it all at once. You know, all these 80 things or whatever you have to do to kind of have a healthy lifestyle and you need more time to plan and prepare before you actually start, which is, you know, that's Mm -hmm. a common mindset. Or that life has to settle down. Like, oh, I'm too busy right now and there's this and that and the other thing and and you're overwhelmed because of it, so therefore you put off, you know, taking forward motion in, in the steps toward health. I've even heard people say things like, oh, I'm just going to wait till my kids, you know, are out of the house before I care about myself. That's just crazy. <laughs> right. um, and that doesn't teach your kids that you value yourself and, and that, that, you know, and then there's issues there. So we need to care right now regardless of where we're at in life. It's never going to change. Things are always going to come up nothing's ever going to be aligned with the stars perfectly. Um, (laughs) People also have objections about money and they need to make more money so they can afford better food. But you can always start right where you're at. It doesn't matter if you have millions of dollars, people will still make excuses to not take forward action with their health, you know. So Mm -hmm. uh, I've even heard people say things like, oh, well, I'm only going to do it if my husband does it with me. And they wait for their spouse to do the same thing because they are afraid of making changes and getting the objections from that person in their life. And so they just don't do it. I've heard that many times as well. So it's time to really renew our minds. It's the beginning of a new year. Let's kind of like get over some of these mental hurdles, right? And if you've been saying to yourself for a long time, I want to get healthy, I want to stick with certain habits, you know, now's the time to kind of decide you know what, I'm just going to do it and I'm worth it. And I, you know, I don't have everything about my health completely resolved or figured out. Nobody does. But we live on a planet today that has so many things posing our health. And if we wait any longer (laughs) to kind of take it into our own hands, you know, we may have wasted some time and, and, and things like that. So I'm not personally going to wait to have all the answers myself. You know, I did that for years. I was like, well, you know, and the truth is there's times when we're very tired and exhausted. So we will come up with these things because we can't exert more energy to move forward. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to help break it all down for you to make the steps as simple as possible. And the truth is, is this course that I've created is a 30 day program, but you don't have to get it all figured out in those 30 days. You don't have to do it all perfectly. You don't have to every day get up and do like 20 steps all of a sudden. It's not like that. It's really just momentum in those 30 days to really get you going and to be surrounded by a community of others who are doing the same thing. So that's kind of the concept behind it and some of my goals to help people kind of move past objections, to know that the basic steps are in place. And if they follow them, they're really going to feel a lot better in more ways than just, you know, external. (laughs) Right. You know, so it's very practical, but it's very, hopefully gets to some of the, the deeper mindset issues that we all can struggle with for whatever reason, you know. Mm -hmm. So why is it important to have these basic steps and the, the kind of the foundational principles in place? Before we start digging deeper, I think, you know, we get overwhelmed. We're constantly in information overload. That's just kind of the world that we live in. We're all online. We're all seeing things on Facebook and we're researching things on Google and it's just constantly being bombarded. And so I think that, you know, there's a lot of overwhelm initially. I know I went through this with all these different things that you should be doing. So why is it important for us to really step back, focus on the basics, and then start digging deeper once those things kind of become second nature? So, yeah, it's important to know the big picture before you get started with your health. And a lot of people will think, okay, I do healthy things. You know, I make my own food at home or, you know, they have some of the pieces, right, figured out and they think that's enough. And, you know, it's not to say that it's not important, but we have to know the really big, big picture before we start. So it's kind of like, have you ever tried to put a puzzle together without the top of the box that came in, you know, so you can (laughs) 
you kind of need to see, like, uh-huh. how to put it together, right? Well, right. a lot of people are, are out there trying to collect all these little puzzle pieces around their symptoms without the top of the box that gives you the big picture. So when we're running around trying to collect all these pieces without the overall big picture and in what sequence, you know, we can become more frustrated and exhausted trying to figure out how it all goes together. And so I have found that people are trying and in good ways to improve their health and to get forward motion, but they're missing all these pieces. So it's important to identify these activities that, that are key to really get where you want to go. So let's say you have just gotten diagnosed with Hashimoto's, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you can get, uh, yeah, you're familiar with that, right? Oh. So you can panic and you can be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I have to do like all this stuff. And you can start trying to do pieces that are kind of further along than where you're really at. So what I mean is, let's say you start doing some of the dietary work and some of the, you know, lifestyle stuff. It's all great. But you have to kind of step back and say, you know, this is a lifestyle and my body doesn't work like parts and I can just go and fix each part. It's a system. Mm -hmm. And we have to address all these systems and how they work together to get these results that we're hoping for, like to resolve our Hashimoto's or to, you know, someone's got IBS or someone's got eczema or whatever it is. Every single one of us need a core amount of health practices to ultimately recover from these things, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not just a Band-Aid, you know, we can't just say, okay, here's a protocol for eczema. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to live your life in a way to keep these things subdued and maintained and so forth. So my job is to help people identify all the pieces that need to be implemented and tie them into a nice, neat little package, which, again, isn't always going to be perfectly linear and, you know, everything. (laughs) If you follow these steps, you'll get X result. I mean, you will get an end result, but It's a little more complicated than that. So there's more core principles than just what's a healthy diet, you know. Everyone's going to be a little bit different, but they still need these core pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So once you have, like, this big picture, all these pieces, the right guidance and feedback, you can kind of move through some stages and start to get results and consistent results that stick so long as they're maintained, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Because a lot of health issues can be really difficult to isolate when you kind of do this dabbing in the dark approach, (laughs) which a lot of us will do if we're trying to do it on our own, right? Yeah. And even sometimes in the medical field, if we're going that route, you know, we're not going to get the sequence of things that we need to do. They're going to miss a lot of stuff, as you well know, because you've been Mm -hmm. there, I've been there, and it's frustrating, but that's... That's not how the medical mindset works. You know, it's, you have a symptom, okay, let's deal with the symptom. Yep. We skip all the stuff that led to the symptom. Yep. So anyway, the sequence is important, but the frame of mind is important to you, and I want everyone to know that they deserve good health, and they are worth the effort it takes to kind of get there. So mm-hmm. I've really worked hard to kind of make this, simple, even though it's going to require a lot of work and effort on their part, you know, but it's, it can be very simple once you understand how your body works and the core of pieces that you need to have in place it can really be, and it can really become habit and it can really mm-hmm. become a way of life. I totally agree. And I absolutely love your puzzle box analogy. That is such <laughs> a great way to look at things. So I love that you brought that up. So your program is going to be kind of community-based. So let's talk a little bit about what people get with your program, like what all is included. And then I know that you wanted to develop this kind of as a community-based program so that other people could interact with, you know, people who are in similar places as them. So let's talk a little bit about that and why, why a community is important when you're healing. Sure. So a while back I ran a, transformative group program. It was uh, the first time I ran it and it was, you know, a small group of people. I, you know, gave them a lot of individual attention, but it was a group program. 
we had a group forum, which was online. And what I watched happen in that program was pretty powerful because a lot of the individuals would say, everyone in my life thinks I'm crazy. They don't understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying all these things on my own, but I need feedback. And this is so valuable to me that I have this feedback. I have a place to go where I can actually talk about this and feel comfortable and not like I'm a lunatic, um, which which is a shame. <laughs> Isn't it a yeah. shame that that's true? But yeah. it, it really is. You know, people will feel like they are from Mars because no one else gets what they're trying to do. Yep. Um, so the group is great because, you know, you, you have a place where if you choose to use it, you know, you can kind of share or ask or also hear what others are going through or hear their successes. But you can also, you can benefit from that. You can speak into that. You can share. So a lot of my clients who have used the group forum have found it extremely valuable and also motivating to hear and see other people doing, you know, these steps and it just makes them want to do it all the more. And sometimes when we're at home on our own or at work or whatever, and we're just doing the daily bump and grind by ourselves, it can be so easy to kind of just be like, oh, I just don't want to, I, I, mm-hmm. you know, and we don't have another voice or motivation there to spur us on, especially if the people in our immediate life aren't interested or care or doing it or whatever. So it's really awesome to be able to connect with others and kind of utilize that, I guess, accountability. I don't love that word, but it kind of really is what it boils down to in a way. Right. And motivation and um, daily reminders even, you know. So it's a great way to start the new year or any time of year really, but, you know, we're kind of doing in the new year here to just kind of give you that kind of momentum so you're not just going it alone, you know. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to find someone local to you. Which is possible, but not always, right? So yep. um, you kind of get to meet new people, too. And, and I it's actually cool because I've had a private client Facebook group for quite a while now, and a number of them have become friends and uh, valued that ability to meet and go through this journey together. So it's pretty cool. So it this could be a wide array of powerful things that can come out of it, you know? Yep. Yeah, Ooh. I think it's great. I think... Having the community is really important, and we have, you know, a lot of people who are, you know, dealing with chronic illness who may be somewhat isolated, whether they be living in an actual remote, isolated area where they don't have a lot of local support, or they may be isolated by their family and their friends for not understanding what they're going through. And, you know, every so often we see those articles that circulate through Facebook about how, you know, there's kind of this stigma, like someone like me who deals with fatigue and and stuff like that, I look healthy to people. They're like, oh, but you don't look sick. Or, and I know a lot of people get that. So I think it's important to have people who are, you know, in similar places or who can just relate to what you're going through to offer you that support and that that confidence. And you feel a little more empowered to make these decisions when you kind of have somebody that's got your back, you know. <laughs> so right. That's one thing I've appreciated about working with you all these years is that you really are, for your clients, you're their biggest cheerleaders. You really do have our backs and you want us to be successful in our health and you want, you know, you want things to be as easy as possible even when they're not easy. So I know that I've truly appreciated that and I know your your other clients have too. I'm in one of your private client groups as well and I see just the community that you've built and there's a lot of respect there. So I'm excited about your program. I think it's fantastic. Is it something that, so say someone like me who, you know, I've been doing this for a while now, (laughs) so I feel like I have the basics down pat. I know to eat well and I'm, you know, I'm sleeping well and I'm managing my stress as best I can. Is it something that somebody who's already kind of in the throes of their health journey would benefit from or is it really for newbies, people who are just getting started? You know, I've asked myself that question and I guess, it was really directed at the general, you know, public. Uh, a good friend of mine had said to me, you know, Lydia, you're like d- diving deep in the ocean of the whole health, you know, thing, you know, and some of us are up here. We're just splashing in the waves and 
we're scared <laughs> to dive where you are. We just want to splash in the waves a little longer. Can you help us where we're at? And I'm like, <laughs> well, yeah, totally. I just, I have this, I don't know, I guess I have this need to be really thorough, but I guess it's just because I want more. And so I don't want anyone who's just tapping in to feel scared that it's hard and that they can do it. But also, I myself need all of this stuff in this course. Like, I'm excited Mm -hmm. to take people through it because it's just going to take me back and layer this important stuff another time. And so, you know, surely anyone could benefit. I mean, it's not, you know, going to be new information to a degree to you or some of my other longer-term clients. But I do have a longer-term client who decides, she's like, I have to take this course. I have to take this course (laughs) because I need to keep doing this stuff and I can eat so easily slip. And plus, you can always learn something new. So, you know, it just depends on kind of where you're at. Like, do you feel like you just need a reboot? Do you feel like you need to start the new year off and just kick some butt when it comes to staying, you know, on top of the basic stuff that's just really important with super practical stuff being given to you? And here, I've got a lot of practicals in here to try and really help streamline the process for people, Mm -hmm. you know, because we can all, I mean, you and I both know how to eat healthy. We both know how to cook. We both have tons of resources, but when it comes down to day to day, it can be so easy to slip away from it for whatever reason. So, Mm -hmm. you know, there's definitely benefit in it for most anyone. I would say it's probably more geared towards people who really just want to gain momentum, you know, and just get all these pieces figured out for themselves. And so, yeah, I guess I hope that answers your question. Yeah, I think that, you know, you've got a lot of information on your website about it. So people could, you know, we'll have all the information about the course down in our blog posts and on YouTube as well. So if you want to see if it's a good fit for you, definitely read through the info she has on her site and you can decide. I think that it would be great for someone like me, because, you know, I have found in my own journey that, you know, I'll be going uphill and doing really well, and then I kind of plateau, and then maybe I backslide a little bit, or, you know, I'll push through, and it's kind of like these, you know, peaks and valleys constantly, and I think that every so often, you really do have to go back, revisit the basics, maybe dig a tiny little bit deeper into maybe why some of the basic actions aren't sticking or, you know, struggles that you're having, so I think that it would be beneficial for people in all stages. I know that you know, the quality of your information is always great. So we can all, no matter how smart we think we are, (laughs) we're going to learn something from you. Right, right. (laughs) So I think it's great. And it's not just about learning information. It's being inspired to take action and let it stick, you know, and Mm -hmm. kind of break through some mental hurdles and go another level deeper, you know, in your Mm -hmm. own, your own journey. So You know, and I'm always doing that, and I'm finding that, you know, I have a pretty good client base now, and they are retesting every three months or so for their hair analysis, and I, you know, kind of encourage them to touch base with me even in between while they're waiting to kind of get through their protocol because they start to lose momentum about halfway through. I've noticed this across Mm -hmm. the board. They start to lose momentum, and then the people who choose to do the calls in between are like, oh, my gosh, I'm so glad I did this. I'm re-inspired. You're right. I needed to hear these things that you're saying to me. I needed them, you know, kind of the kick in the pants, if you will. Right. (laughs) Um, Because, you know, it gets tiring to go through a day-to-day. There's so many things that can come at us and vie for our energy and time. And so it's not – no one should ever feel – beat themselves up about not being able to stay – you know, focused on all this stuff because it's just the way the life is. <laughs> right. But once you recognize right. that and you know, hey, you know what? I really do need an advocate for my health. And you consistently allow yourself to receive that help, then, you know, you, you know you're doing that so that you can stay the course. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's what this course is all about. It's kind of a, a starting point. But it also could be a refresher for many. So, and I know it's going to be for me and some of my clients have already signed up. (laughs) So, um, I'm excited about it. And 
I can't wait to see how it goes for everyone and get this new year going. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be great. Let's kick it off. 2016 is going to be a great year. I'm really optimistic about everything you know that I've got going on in my life and the direction that I'm taking my business and myself personally and my own health journey. So I'm yeah, I'm really excited about the new year and I'm I'm ready to kick it off and live vibrantly for sure. So. Yes. Well, is there anything else that you want to let people know about, or should we go ahead and wrap up for the day? I just want people to know that it's okay to choose yourself. You know, I listed all those objections earlier, the reasons why people stop themselves from enjoying vibrant health. You know, you really, you are worth it, and you deserve it. So, Mm -hmm. you know, think about how embracing that can, you know, embracing that truth and what it can do for you. And it doesn't have to be my course. It could be something else. But I just want people to know they're totally worth it. And it does take a little digging in at first, but you're worth it and you deserve good health and it's worth getting the help to get there. You know what I mean? I totally agree. I think that's an excellent note to leave on. So, I guess we will go ahead and wrap up for today, but if you have questions about anything we've talked about, as always, please let us know. We would ask that if this information resonated with you or you happen to know other people who could benefit from it, we would love it if you could share. We would also really appreciate it if you could leave us a review on iTunes or Stitcher. If you're on our site or if you're on YouTube listening to this, we'll have links to where you can leave a review. If you're on your phone, you can leave a review straight through the app there. It's super easy. It only takes, I mean, maybe a minute to do. And whenever you share the podcast or you leave us reviews, it really helps us reach more people with our message of health and wellness. If you're looking for more information on health and wellness, both Lydia and I have a ton of information on our site. You can find me over at jessicaespinoza.com, which is my main practice website and where I offer my 21-day sugar detox coaching. And then you can also find me at deliciousobsessions.com, which is my main real food and natural living website. You can find Lydia over at divinehealthfromtheinsideout.com, and Lydia offers nutritional therapy consultations and hair tissue mineral analysis services for those of you who are ready to take your health to the next level. And lastly, if you have any suggestions for topics you'd like us to cover on future episodes, we would absolutely love to hear from you. We want these podcasts to be as informational and inspiring to you as possible. So if you've got something you want us to talk about, we want to hear from you. You can email us or leave us a comment down below. And we will see what we can do about adding that topic to a future episode. We both look forward to serving you and inspiring you to live the healthiest, happiest lives possible. And we hope you guys have a great day. We'll be back again next week. 